some of these banks made some pretty poor investments, okay? Okay. And so a lot of the ways that a bank will make money is off interest in loans or investments. And so what some of these banks did and what put them in really precarious situations is that they invested large sum of monies in bonds, in different investment instruments, in mortgage-backed securities, MBS, and some of the rates that they were investing in just a few years ago were for 1.7%, you know, under 2%. And at the time, that didn't seem like a bad idea because at the time they were investing, we were in a zero interest rate environment. Literally, the federal interest rate was basically zero. And so wow. you put, you know, tens of billions of dollars in a just under 2% type of return profile, then you're going to be making, presumably, some money off of that. But when in the last two years, the interest rate goes from z zero pretty much to five, six mm. percent plus, all of a sudden there's now a discount in the value of those mortgage-backed securities that you invested in. So you're no longer making money off that 1.7% return. You're now underwater because people could have been putting their money in literally just the federal interest rate, right? In the treasuries of that day that can yield four to 5%. And so what that means is that now the banks have to make some decisions. Do they sell some of these long-term treasuries that they have and take a big penalty mm. on that? And that's what some of the banks did. Um, and because of that, and a lot of various factors, I'm oversimplifying it here, it sent a lot of fear. It sent a lot of mistrust into the markets. And not only were these banks taking losses on these investments that they made, but they were now taking losses on their stock price mm. because people started seeing these losses on the balance sheet of these banks, started getting worried and started dumping their stock. Stock prices started plummeting of these banks. And if you are a depositor in a bank and you start seeing the stock price of that bank plummeting, you're now going to be insecure about your money that's in that bank. Mm -hmm. And so it just yeah. starts this domino reaction where now that fear gets propagated. And here's a real catastrophe. People start withdrawing their funds from that bank. Okay. What happens when people withdraw the funds from the bank it then puts the bank truly underwater because wow. now it doesn't have enough assets to be able to fulfill on withdrawals. When that happens at a rapid pace, the government sees it and they say, hey, we got to take over.